talking back at your time early on, you mentioned and then some correspondence we had before the episode around uh, the Jake well and some yeah. of the work that you did there. I thought that was a pretty interesting story. Maybe talk about that. Yeah, sure. So uh, my first year with Encana, I was working on the DJ development team and uh, I don't remember if I was tasked with it or if I just stumbled into it, but I, I had found the EOG had drilled this well. Uh, they called the Jake well in, in Northern Colorado. Uh, there was kind of one of the, I would say it wasn't the first horizontal well in that area, but it was the first one that was commercially viable, I would say. Uh, and then shortly after that, Noble had drilled a well, I believe it was called Gemini, um, in, in the Wells Ranch area, which was prolific for them. So there's a couple of these wells and, and, uh, at the time in Canada was working with some, a group out of Boston and drilling these, uh, vertical, three, uh, three zones, Codel, Niobrara, J sand. And when we just were gung ho on vertical development and, uh, I was working with a geologist and we kind of came up with this side hustle plan to horizontally develop just like the Jake and the Gemini well, but on in Canna acreage. Um, and so that was kind of a fun process. We, I remember pitching it to our direct supervisor and it was fun too. Cause the geologist had been around for a while. He was not a, a young guy like me, but he, he, entertained all my crazy thoughts. And uh, we built a reservoir model and kind of showed like, Hey, we can do this vertically. If you do it horizontally, this is what the reservoir looks like. And this is what happens. And this is what pro production would look like. History matched the Gemini well and history matched the production out of the Jake well, and then ended up getting to present it to, uh, you know, up the ladder to management in Canada and, and got the uh, authorization to drill five wells the next year. So that was, that was kind of fun. I mean, I, I don't say like, I discovered it by any means, but it was fun to be on the ground floor of, of at least in Canada's adventure into the horizontal development of the DJ. 